Hey Joe fans, I'm John Setzler. Welcome back to the Kamado Joe Cooking Channel. Today we're going to fire up the Kamado Joe Classic once again with the Joe Tisserie and we're going to do a Joe Tisserie Chicken. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do, we're going to fire up the classic and once again I've got most of my charcoal pushed back up to the back side of the grill here. I'm going to light up two of our Kamado Joe fire starter cubes in here and let this burn with the lid open for about 10 minutes. After we get our fire going, I'm going to close the dome lid and we're going to set up to cook at about 350 today with the Joe Tisserie. And in order to get the Joe Tisserie at about 350, I'm going to close the bottom vent about halfway to start with. And I'm going to close the slider on the top vent all the way and leave the daisy wheel fully open. And I'm going to watch the temperature. And if we need to increase the temperature, I'll open the top slider. Or if I need to choke it down, I'm going to close the daisy wheel up. We're going to try to settle in at around, like I said, 350 for this rotisserie chicken cook. While our grill's coming up to temperature, I'm going to put together a rub, a seasoning rub for our chicken. You can rub your chicken with whatever kind of uh, seasoning you like, or you can try this one. I'm going to start out with one quarter cup of Lowry's seasoned salt, and then one quarter cup of barbecue rub. You can use any kind of barbecue rub you like, and today I am using uh, the bacon barbecue from Meat Church. This stuff is really good. If you get a chance to try that out, you definitely should. I'm going to add one tablespoon of granulated garlic, one tablespoon of onion powder, one tablespoon of dried thyme, and about two teaspoons of cracked black pepper. And I'm just going to whisk all that together and then we're going to set that aside until I get the chicken ready. Next thing we're going to do is get our chicken ready. I've got a, a seven pounder here uh, that I have rinsed off and patted dry and I have also tied the legs together where these legs won't be flopping around when we put it on the rotisserie. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to rub this guy down completely with a, a thin coat of olive oil on both sides. I'm using some extra virgin olive oil here. We're just going to kind of use this as a rub binder. So we're going to coat both sides of this chicken and then I've transferred the rub that we made into a shaker and I'm just gonna we're gonna shake an even but fairly heavy coat of this rub all over this chicken and we're gonna save a little bit of that and we're gonna shake some more on it once we get it on the rotisserie so I'm gonna let the grill finish coming up to temperature and I'm gonna install the rotisserie rod through the cavity of this chicken and clamp it on both sides and we're going to let it rotate like that. So let's go find Ashni and Mia and see what they're up to. Let's, let's put, put that bad boy on the grill. Okay, our grill is almost up to temperature so I'm going to open the lid. I'm going to set on a couple of small chunks of apple wood back here to create a little bit of smoke for this cook. And then we're going to set the rotisserie right in place here. I'm going to crank up the rotisserie and while this guy is turning, I'm going to shake on a little bit more of our rub that we made just to make sure I've got a nice even coat of that all the way around this chicken. We're going to cook this at, like I said, around 325 until we get an internal temperature in the breast of about 160 degrees. So we'll come back to have a look at this guy closer to time when it's done. Okay guys, this chicken's been on here for right at about an hour and a half and it's ready. I've just taken the temperature of it. We're up to 160 in the breast. So I'm going to remove this from the grill. We're going to take it inside and tin it with foil 
and let it rest for a few minutes before we cut into it. Okay guys, here we have it. This chicken looks absolutely delicious. It smells wonderful as well. I'm going to take a piece of this off and let's have a taste. Well, for any of you guys that have been following this channel for a while, you know I like the dark meat on the chicken. I like the leg and the leg quarter, the thigh. So I have uh, taken off a drumstick here and that's where I'm going to get my taste test from. Mm. Mm. That's really delicious. The rub combination that we put on there is phenomenal. That's outstanding. This chicken is just dripping juicy, tender. Uh, I don't know if you can see it dripping on my video here or not, but man, it's uh, really flavorful. It's got a beautiful skin on it. It's absolutely perfectly cooked. So the rotisserie did a really nice job on this, and I'm really looking forward to doing a lot of cool things with this rotisserie in the future. So stay tuned with us. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. Join us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Kamado Joe. Follow us on Twitter, at Kamado Joe. And until next time, this is John Setzler with the Kamado Joe Cooking Channel.